This video shows the use of zipped file folders within the Windows XP file management system. To begin with, locate a folder icon that has a zipper attached to it, and this will be a type file of compressed zip folder. A zip folder is an archive that contains several files, all stored in a single easy-to-use file that can be transferred between computer systems as well as uploaded to sites such as desire to learn When we double-click on a archived folder, such as in this example images.zip, we'll see the contents that have been compressed and stored into the zip folder. These files are not directly editable, and in order to use them, we will need to extract them out of the images.zip folder or file. We can do this either under the folder task as the item extract all files, or we can use the file menu file extract all, and this will open the extraction wizard. In the welcome screen to the Extraction Wizard, click on the Next button. In most situations, you will want to use the default directory provided by the Extraction Wizard. However, you can click on the Browse button to select your own target directory into which the files can be extracted. Once determining the directory for the extraction, click on Next. Under the window Extraction Complete, click on the checkbox for Show Extracted Items and then click Finish. This will open up a new window which shows the extracted or uncompressed files. And again, these are completely editable, so you can click down through these and see the contents. If you desire to create your own zip folder, the first step is to select the items which you want to compress into the zip folder. In this situation, I am going to be choosing some images from a file list. I will click on the first image I desire, and then using the control key on my keyboard, I will hold that key down as I select the additional files that I want to have in my archive and in this example I'm choosing all of the GIF file images. Once you have selected the images that you want to have compressed into the folder, you can do a right mouse click over any of the images and then choose the File Shortcuts option to Compress Zip Folder. Send to Compressed Zip Folder. Let me try that with another file here. Send to Compressed Zip Folder. And that will create a new zip archive. Normally then I would suggest that you use the right mouse click to rename the file. And you can also do this by clicking on the file and going to the menu File Rename and then change the name to something that is meaningful to you. So GIF set dot zip is what I will select for this archive name. Again, if I double click into these, this file folder, I'll see the contents. However, these are not directly uh, editable, so I would need to extract these before using them.